Hello everyone, and a warm welcome to the world of electrification and automation. This is our Global Submit 2022. And now it is our final training session of the day. My name is Luis Francisco, and I'll be guiding you through this session today. Since you cannot ask questions directly to the presenter, please type them in in the QA box. Our expert will answer them after the presentation and the Q&A session. Our scheduled training on this session is on how to use and benefit from Cipratec Function Point Manager in the hands of Christian Nelson Müller. Christian is a product manager of the Cipratec Function Point Manager and it is connecting with us live from Berlin. Hello Christian, great to see you. Hello Luis, um, thank you very much for your invitation. Yeah, thank you for being here. Um, Christian, uh, that said, you know, the stage is yours. Okay, thank you very much, Luis. I would like to tell you something about the Zipotec Function Point Manager. Uh, in the first chapter, I would like to introduce you in, introduce you on function points, function point classes and license files. Then we are going to uh, look to the function point manager, three-step workflow, account transactions. I will demonstrate how to account, uh, how accounts can be created, budgets can be ordered, DAF files can be generated, a multiple user and multiple account feature, and last but not least, uh, there's enough room for your questions. Thank to the introduction, what are function points at all? So each Zipotec 5 and Zipotec 5 compact device can already operate with the basic functionality with no function points. Functions have a certain value expressed in function points. Additional functions can be realized using function point credits. And you can use the Zipotec 5 configurator or the application chapter in your device manual to calculate the required number of function points and to get an information which function point class you would have to select. So every Zipotec 5 device comes with a main protection functionality without any function points. So zero function points are calculated. If you would like to instantiate additional functions, you can see them here blue marked, then you can take the Zipotec 5 configurator at the um, selected quantity and uh, can directly see what is a needed function point class for this device and the needed functionality. Taking an example, um, you ordered, for instance, a 7SJ82 device uh, with uh, 75 function points and uh, are currently consuming 60 function points and would like now to enhance it with the package CFC arithmetic. So you have currently consumed 60 function points. The CFC arithmetic package costs 80 points. This would mean 140 points are needed. The next available function point class is 150. The needed function points to be debited are 75 because you ordered the device with 75 function points. For example, taking a Zipotec 5 compact device ordered without any function points, we would like to enhance this uh, device with the voltage-based package and the communication package. Voltage-based package means 40 function points, communication 50 in total, 90 points are needed. The next available function point class is 100. So 100 function points needs to be debited for this device. We introduced with the version 920 in April, a new feature called classless function points. This means you can upload the exact function point number which is required to the device and get rid of the function point classes. It's not necessary to comply with them anymore. With each stuff generation using the um, function point manager, you can decide whether you use now the classless function points or you migrate back to the class bound license files or vice versa. Both is possible. 
Devices can already be ordered without any function points, classless, or still class bound as already possible today. Taking the 7SX800 device as an example again. So here you remember 90 function points are needed and now it's not necessary to order 100 function points. We can directly generate a license file with 90 function points and upload them to the device. Important is um, the product code. So currently the function point class is coded in position 20 in the product code. So for base functionality, the position 20 has an A, for base 10 a B, base 20 C and so on. And uh, with the change of the function point class of the device, you would have to change the product code because position 20 contains the information about the function point class. With a new feature, classless devices, the position 20 contains a zero and won't change anymore. So if you now change the function points of the device, the product code remains the same as before. So no change anymore. Coming to the license files. So what are license files? License files or short DAF files, device attribute files are signed files, which are assigned to a specific Cipotec 5 or Cipotec 5 compact device with a device serial number. If the current function point class is no longer sufficient, you need to purchase a new license file with a higher function point class or higher function points. I will use the classless feature and upload the file to the device with Dixie 5 or with our new tool Zipotec tools. Case of universal devices like Zipotec 5 Compact, which are delivered without any function points, a function point class base or zero function points. You can order and stock these devices independent from the needed functions and create the license files late in the engineering process on demand with the Zipotec function point manager. So this means the Zipotec function point manager reduces the effort for creating these license files to a few seconds. Would like now to show you what is the Zipotec 5 function point manager. So assign function points to Zipotec 5 devices and Zipotec 5 compact devices in order to extend the software functionality within seconds. One sentence. It's cloud-based application where you can centrally manage your function point budgets and it's pretty easy to use it. First, you have to sign up and to create an account. This is a one-time activity. I will show you how to do this. Then you would order the function point budget. It's a normal order procedure. You can call your sales representative or use iMall. I will show you how to do this. When the order was processed and the function point budget was assigned to your account, then you can create license files within seconds. When the budget is over, you order new function point budget to your account, you can again create the license files. That's all. I will show you how a transaction table looks like in the function point manager, and you understand the principle a little bit better. So taking an example on the 1st February this year, the account was created. The account balance is zero. Then you placed an order. You ordered a function point budget of 600 function points. Balance is 600. Then you decided to create a license file. Um, taking an example, class bound license file. You enhance the device from 100 to 125. So 25 function points are needed. So balance is 575. Then again, you create a license file now a classless license file, you enhance uh, by 12 points from 125 to 137. Your new balance is 563. Then you decide to order a new budget. In this example, 110 points. The new balance is uh, 673. And you might decide to generate again a license file, again class bound you're consuming 30 function points and the balance is 660 and so on. This is a 
main principle of the function point manager transactions. Coming now to a demonstration, I would like to show you how easy it is to create a function point manager account and um, we'll show you how to do this. Go to the Zipotec function point manager webpage. And click on the sign up button. You have now the option to um, create an account based on your email address, and your password, or you use an existing Microsoft account or a LinkedIn account or Google account or my ID for Siemens employees. In this example, we decide to um, use the email address and password. You enter your credentials, agree to the terms and conditions and click on sign up. <coughs> now the account needs to be verified. You go to your email account, click on verify e my email and the email account was verified. We need a second factor for authentication. This means you would now uh, go to the Siemens ID, secure your account using the Siemens ID app, which can be easily uh, downloaded from the App Store or Google Play, or we can use the SMS functionality for the second factor. We decide now to use the SMS um, authentication, you get an SMS on your mobile phone by entering your mobile phone number. Clicking on continue. Entering the six digit code which was received by SMS. Now do have to, uh, to copy one time this code here in case you have to recover your um, Siemens ID account and click on continue. Now your account is verified and secured. You are now in the function point manager application, select your country of residence, submit for verification, and now I, you are in the account management page. Next step is to create an account. Click on create an account button, type in your organization, a description for your account, click on create, and your account was created. Very important is the account ID, which is shown here on the left side. This account ID is now needed for the function point budget order, which uh, I will show you now in the next slides. You can log out now from the function point manager and have created your account. How to order the function point budget? It's pretty easy. First, you need the account ID. This was already created. This is a unique reference for ordering and crediting function point budgets to a function point manager account. Then you can use the IMO or you go to your local Siemens sales partner using the specified MLFB, the ordering number and your account ID. The function point budget is credited automatically within two working days to your account when the order was processed. So taking the example, ordering via MLFB 7XX8152 81AA00, standard unit is one function point, current list price is 11 euro 70. Taking an example, 500 function points, you would just enter the quantity 500, the MLFB, and you get here the list price, total price, and tell your sales partner your account ID, and he takes care for the correct order. Or you use the uh, IMO, enter the Zipotec function point manager or the um, MLFB, put the quantity 500 into the um, appropriate um, field here, go to the next page. Important is here to enter the account ID in the header F text field here, and that's all. When the order was processed, then the function board budget is uh, credited automatically to your account. And then it's time to create a license file and to upload it to your device. I will show you how to do this and to use the new Zipotec tools to upload the license file to your device. Instead of using Zipotec tools, for sure you can use Dixie 5. You can see here the link to the new Zipotec tools. It was released yesterday. So you log in to um, the Zipotec function point manager using your Siemens ID account. 
click on login the Siemens ID, type in your credentials. You get a text message message on your mobile phone. You enter the one time code. You click on continue. You are now in the function board manager web page. You go to the menu manage function points. You enter the serial number of your device. Click on the button next to it. To fetch the device details. In this case, this is a 7SX80 device, current function point class 275. You would like to have a function point class 300. You click on generate license file. You confirm that 25 function points will be debited. This cannot be cancelled, the activity. The license file creation is now in progress. You would have to wait until the status message shows success. This is now the case and next to the next success message you can download, click the download button, confirm your country of residence and the export regulations, click on continue and the file is automatically downloaded in the download directory of your web browser. Now you can log out and start CProtect tools. With Zipotec tools, you can directly upload this uh, license file to your Zipotec 5 device. You click on upgrade device functionality. You decide whether you use the USB connection or Ethernet connection. In this case, we use the Ethernet connection with the desired IP address. You click on the button connect. When the button um, is green, then the device was connected. You click on proceed. And you are now connected to the device. See the device serial number, the function points in the device. Select the new license file, which was created with the function point manager. Click on open. The file is going to be uploaded with the upgrade device functionality. You see the device is now restarted. The new license file is uploaded to the, the device. This takes just a few seconds. Now the um, Function point class was enhanced from 100 to 300, and um, everything is fine. You can now disconnect from the device and close the protect tools. This was a pretty easy upload scenario with the CProtect 5 tools instead of using Dixie 5. I would like to show you two further features. One is a multiple user feature. So it's possible that you share your account with uh, some other users. So in case of uh, a colleague who should represent you or another colleague should uh, use your account, it's pretty easy. As an account admin, you can add new users. Precondition is that the new user is also signed up in the function point manager and added to a specified account. We have uh, three different roles here. We have an account admin, account user, account viewer. An account admin can create and delete some um, other accounts. An account user can, uh, sorry, other users. An account user can um, just use the function point manager but cannot create users. And an account viewer can just see what happens in the system but cannot create license file or users. Another important feature is um, that you can have multiple accounts. So multiple accounts can be assigned to one user. This is um, very important if you would like to separate your function point budgets in your organization. If you would like to organize different budgets um, according to different projects, just click on the account um, ID in the header of the function point manager, the account management page opens. You can either choose another account here or can create new accounts. Um, so you can very easy without logging out um, and logging in again, um, choose which um, account needs to be used. Okay, so these are the um, demonstrations I would like to finalize. Now it's um, time for a short summary and for your questions. So I showed you how to use the function point manager to answer CPOTEC 5 device functionality within seconds. 
Three steps are required. Create an account, order the function point budget, login and create license files, share your accounts with multiple users, and create multiple accounts to separate budgets. Would like to hand over now to Luis for your questions. Thank you very much. Thank you, Christian, for the clear explanation, actually, for the Function Point Manager platform and for bringing an understanding on how to use it. I, I like the live demo, so it has been very enlightening. So now we're going to enter to the, our Q&A session. Um, before that, I mean, I've been revising on uh, questions and comments uh, to those who have been having issues with the communication. Remember, our recommended browser is Chrome. Also, if you can connect directly with the LAN Ethernet instead of having a Wi-Fi, uh, that would be better. If you have a VPN, uh, typically VPNs uh, have an impact in the latency and the connectivity. And last but not least, if you uh, are still having issues, just uh, close the platform and log in again. I mean, typically those things tends to solve any issues. So uh, that said, okay, let me then see a further question from the auditorium. And there's a question that actually came uh, many times, Christian, um, and it's regarding the uh, function point budgets, when they expire and, and what happened with the old licenses and so on. Can you uh, share uh, some comments on it? Yeah, sure, thank you. Um, so the function point budget doesn't expire at all. Um, the only restriction is that unused points will be invoiced three years after the order has been placed, but you can still use these uh, function points for generating license files. So okay. short answer, no expiration date. Okay. And also uh, another, thank you. Uh, another question actually that is coming several times is about damaged devices. I mean, what happened with the function points if a damaged device or extension uh, module uh, is uh -huh. damaged. Uh -huh. Okay, so um, usually when a damaged device comes back, then uh, the um, either you will get the same device um, back um, repaired, or you have the possibility um, with uh, a new feature which will be introduced now in April or May to decide that these um, function points which are on the device are getting back, credited back to your function point manager account. So you can decide in the RMA process whether you would like to keep the function points on the device or if you would like to get a credit back to your function point account. Precondition is that you have a function point account which needs to be mentioned in the RMA process. Okay, great, thank you. And next ones are regarding to the DAF files. Um, so, is it possible to download them uh, multiple times? Yes, for sure. So, the DAF files are stored on a, a permanent server and you can download them multiple times um, whenever you want. Great. Another question, and, and this ties actually to, to what we were discussing or commenting, uh, what about the browsers? I mean, which browsers are supported for the function point uh, manager? Uh, the, fun the function point manager require a recent web browser, so we are supporting the Google Chrome, the Microsoft Edge, Mozilla Firefox, and even the uh, web browsers in the smartphones. That's not a problem. Okie dokie. Um, another question um, that I think that is also uh, good for everyone is if it's possible to transfer function points from, from one account to another. Unfortunately That's... not. Yeah. Okay. Un unfortunately not. So you still have um, to keep in one account. It's not possible to transfer from one account to another one. Okay. And that's my question from my side. And from one device to another one? Even not possible because remember, mm -hmm. license files are bound to the devices. So the mm -hmm. serial number is um, contained in the signed license file. So this is not possible. Okay, thank you for clarifying. Um, uh, another, this is from CP. Can we use the DAF for previous version of Dixie 5 uh, respect to the version 9.2? 
Yes, this is possible. So there's no restriction. You can even use a uh, older Dixie to upload the license files to the devices. Perfect. And another question here. Uh, what about changing the admin user? Would that be possible? Um, you can add a new admin user to the um, to the um, function point manager. You mm -hmm. can the second admin user can could then um, delete the first user or could change the role of the first user. So in short words, yes. So we support multiple users and this would also mean that um, an admin user could be changed. Okay, okay. Thank you, Christian. Um, I'm taking a, a final a final one here. Uh, mm -hmm. So what about the invoice for the uh, consume function points? Will that be received? Yes, so um, the invoice will be sent out automatically on a daily basis. So for every order separately. Um, but this means that all consumptions on one day will be placed in one invoice. Perfect. Then uh, we're going to call it now for questions. And I would like to thank to the audience for all the questions. There are other questions here. Uh, but for those questions not answered, you will receive the answer afterwards. I saw also a comment here regarding the recording. No issues. This recording will be available as well as other sessions uh, during this event. They are recorded and they will be available on demand just afterwards. So that easy. Um, that said, I would like also to send you a reminder. Um, this is the world of electrification and automation. You know, take this opportunity uh, to contact with all the experts for the wide range of the portfolio that we have, whether it is medium voltage, low voltage, protection, automation, power quality, smart communication, and the services around it. Anyone that you need to address any questions regarding use cases, applications, uh, the product itself, you know, take this advantage. The booth are there, the expert are there. Also, as a reminder, in the session tomorrow, we have our CEO, Stefan May, in the keynote, um, uh, the CEO for Smart Infrastructure Electrification and Automation. So uh, listen to what he has to say regarding innovation and how we are driving as an organization also part of this ongoing energy transition. And this is all for now and for this session on how to use and benefit from Cipotex Function Point Manager. Thank you very much for your participation. It was a pleasure being here with you. See you in the next one and take care.